joined by a range of other businesses from different STEM careers. Uh, we're talking to lots of young children, mothers and daughters, so we're trying to figure out what it is that prevents them from aspiring to work in our industries and give them a peek behind the scenes as to what we do in our daily lives and what they might want to do, breaking down some barriers, removing some stereotypes and having a good chat with the, with the young people. So in construction it's really important for us to have young people, particularly young ladies, aspiring to work in our industry. We need to peel back the lid, show them what's underneath in construction because it's not all about digging holes, uh, building houses and, and, and building buildings. There's actually a lot of really cool jobs that they could do and might aspire to, to do in the future. Tonight's been good, there's lots of lovely energy in the room, really pleased with a range of companies and roles that are represented. Having spoken to people here tonight, I think we're learning that some of the attributes which came out from the questionnaire, diplomat, leader, creative, they're probably aspects that can be found in any field, any sector, because even if you're, we've spoken tonight to a medicinal chemist, you know, I mean, but even what they're doing has aspects of all of those characteristics. I know more what I don't want to do than what I do want to do. Like, I know which subjects I probably am more wanting to avoid than I do what I want to do, because I probably know that I don't want to do something with loads of maths in it, because it's not my favourite thing, and then I don't know what I do want to do, so I think it's easier to know what you don't want to do than what you do. I'm hoping that what the mothers and the daughters have got out of tonight is just an awareness of the range of roles, industries in the North East, things that they won't possibly have ever thought of before. So it's about opening people's minds and people's eyes to possibility.